Over the course of doing this YouTube channel, we have encountered a lot of positive. I mean, we've had people just come down to the church and tell us how that uh, their life has been changed by the truth that we've tried to give these people. Uh, we've done our Third Adam series. We've got over a million views on that now. Uh, Third Adam is closing in on 500,000 views. A lot of amazing things are happening, and we're thankful for that. Uh, but, of course, along the way, we've made a few enemies. And uh, my my goal in this is not really to be liked. My, my goal in all this is just to tell the truth. And in a world of lies, somebody has to tell the truth. And the man who tells the truth in the world of lies is is both a hero and public enemy number one. It's a strange dynamic. It's a strange strange place to live. But that's where we are, and we're having a good time with it. But one of the people we called out is uh, Jackie Hill Perry. And Jackie Hill Perry recently has uh, seemingly fully embraced the prosperity gospel along the lines with Joyce Myers and Kenneth Copeland and uh, Joel Osteen and such. And, uh, it, you know, to, to if you love the sheep, you will call out the wolves. And there's no question about that. But Jackie Hill Perry has made an Instagram post just the other day and uh, has said that uh, these discernment bloggers uh, need to get away. <laughs> oh, and she just says one of the craziest things I've ever seen about discernment bloggers, and uh, I'm I'm sure we're probably in the crosshairs of this, is what she's saying. So let's just let's just let her talk and see what she has to say here. Like you don't need these people to teach you how to spot false teaching or error. You need the spirit, you need the church, and you need your Bible. You don't need a constant diet of someone tearing down the body to teach you how to contend for the faith. That's not what Jude offered. He, he offered the Old Testament to them <laughs> to give them some context for how to discern false teaching in their presence. Guard your heart and guard your mind. Mm -hmm. um, from those who would tempt you and disciple you into lovelessness. 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 Now, she, there's a lot of problematic things that she says, and the problem with false teachers is that the Bible says they rest the Scriptures. That is 2 Peter 3.16. They rest the Scriptures to their own destruction, meaning that, you know, like if, if, if a mechanic has some sort of part he's trying to put together and he can't do it, so he just takes a hammer and just kind of beats them in there and forces these pieces to fit, uh, that is, in a sense, resting. And uh, 2 Peter 3.16 says these people rest the Scriptures to their own destruction. And uh, I have been going through and writing a book on the book of Jude right now in my own personal life, and that'll be coming up in the next few months. You will not want to miss that. The hottest book we've ever dropped will be on the horizon very soon. Uh, don't miss it. But uh, what she said about Jude is not correct. Like the book of Jude is the Apostle Thaddeus, and the entire book is blood and guts, if you will, about false teachers. He calls them wandering stars. He calls them brute beasts. He calls them all, I mean, everything you can imagine, he calls these people that. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess Jude would be a discernment blogger. But if you notice here, the word that is on the screen right now, and I want to show it to you, is the word lovelessness, lovelessness. And um, and guys, we've been going through First John on Monday nights. And one of the things that has been just amazing to me as I go through that is that uh, this is the apostle John. And John is talking about love and he's talking about truth and how that these two do not disagree. Love and truth are friends. And uh, I guess you can get up and say something harsh and cruel and not say it in love, and I guess that's fair, uh, just for intellectual honesty's sake. Uh, but but if you are a loving person, a truly loving person, uh, you will tell the truth about theological matters, about the Word of God, and uh, you will you will say things like every woman preacher is a false teacher because every woman teacher is a false teacher because. God has commanded a man to be the pastor of a local New Testament church. And so Jackie Hill Perry going around preaching in churches, it, just by that alone, it does not fit the qualifications of a local New Testament pastor. She is not somebody who needs to be followed, and uh, she's not somebody who needs to go after. So in that sense, she is a false teacher. And I don't say that just in hate. There's nothing in me that that hates this person. Uh, but she's luring people away after her own uh, her own teachings. Now, here's the thing that these people will want you to think. They will want you 
you to think that what what they call discernment bloggers, and I guess I I guess maybe we fit under that umbrella. Sometimes we, I mean, you know, sometimes we talk about that stuff. We warn people about false teachings and the destruction of all that, how it will ruin your life and your family and your soul. We talk about that, no question. And I'm not even ashamed to talk about that stuff because it needs to be talked about. Now, the problem is that these people, these false teachers, these wolves will try to convince you that calling out wolves is, a, is an unloving act and that this is some sort of specialty ministry that only a select few of hypercritical people are doing and they're not doing it in love. That is not even remotely true. That's not even close to being true. That's not even 1% true. Um, they, of course, are there some people out there who are just straight up haters? Yeah, that's 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 for certain. There's no doubt. And uh, but this is a this is not some specialty ministry done by a group of hypercritical, misguided brothers. This is a biblical command to call out false teachers. Okay, if you love the truth, you're going to call out error. Now, let me show you this in the book of Acts, if you will. The Apostle Paul himself did this kind of stuff. The Bible says in Acts chapter 20 and uh, verse 28, speaking to the Ephesian elders, Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to the flock over which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers, to feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock, and of your own self shall, they, shall men arise, speaking perverse things, to draw away disciples after them. Therefore watch, and remember that by the space of three years I ceased not to warn every one of you, night and day with tears. Now, was the Apostle Paul a hater? Was the Apostle Paul a discernment blogger when he was saying this type of stuff? Was the Apostle Paul some legalistic, pharisaical? I mean, you know, he hadn't got over his Phariseeism yet. This is early in his ministry. Is, is that what's going on here with the Apostle Paul? I would say that's absurd. No, not at all. The Apostle Paul was the chief theologian of the New Testament. He loved the local church. He spent his life to and gave his life to the local church so that it could go forward and see people saved and that stuff. But in, in doing that, you have to, if you love the garden, you have to trim the weeds and you have to fight against weeds. And in a sense, these wolves amongst the sheep are the weeds in the garden of the local church and they need to be plucked out. Because if you don't, they will destroy the garden. And if you love the garden, you will hate what will destroy it. Now, Jackie Hill Perry, I believe, is a false teacher. She she teaches some nutty stuff. And, I, you know, I understand what she's saying. I understand that. She's talking about, you know, you don't need a steady diet of all that stuff. <laughs> And the verse that she uses have nothing to do with foolish, ignorant controversies. You know that they breed quarrels, and the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but kind to everyone, apt, able to teach, patient, enduring evil, correcting the, uh, his opponents with gentleness. God may perhaps grant them repentance, leading to the knowledge of the truth. Now, uh, Jackie, that verse is about you. Okay, correcting his opponents and journalists like you are you are the people here that it's talking about. And and I, you know, we could always work on being gentle and being nicer. But at the end of the day, you're not nice with a wolf. You shoot a wolf. If a wolf's attacking the sheep, you call it out and you guard the sheep against it. And that's what we do. But here's one thing. I want to zoom in on this and I want you guys to see this. There she gets a lot of support on this post. And I want you to notice something as we go through this. 99% of the people that are supporting this post vocally are females. Notice that again. 99% of the people that are supporting this post are women. There are not a bunch of men on here who are, you know, sitting there doing deadlifts in the gym, floating through their Instagram, saying, man, that was a good post by Jackie Hill Perry. I'm going to like that and, and comment. Say, good job, Jackie. That's not going on. It is all women. This is a woman-led deception, which goes back to our, our documentary, Third Adam 3, Rise of the Divine Feminine. And I was just talking about that, obviously, a female right there. Uh, we got, uh, uh, let's see here, that woman right there. And actually, that's Brooke Linger, which from uh, Hillsong. That's her, that's her right there. And uh, so how's, how's all that going over there, Brooke? How's it going over there in Sydney? I hear it's not going too well. <laughs> of course, John Gray, and uh, people know who that 
is. He is uh, he's another apostate false teacher. Tiffany Lofton, uh, the Goo Goo got uh, Jenny Allen. Uh, I mean, these are all women. These are all women. And uh, Carissa Gender Chronicle. And uh, let's just I mean just just go through and look at these thumbnails. Almost all of this is woman is women. So uh, and I like this comment here. It's not loveless to teach others how to discern false unbiblical teachings. Yes, you are my friend. Thank God for you. But there, there's a lot. You just go through here. Too many apologists are just attacking of uh, teach are attacking other teachers over secondary issues. I've unfollowed many ministries because of this. If, if that's not a Karen, I don't know what is. I mean, that's look at that stuff, man. That's that's crazy. Is what that is. So uh, I mean, you know, Christy, uh, whatever her name is, there. Just there's so many women and. Just it's crazy, y'all. That goes back to Third Adam three, rise the divine feminine, and uh, you can see all that right there available now on YouTube, guys. I want to tell you right now, Jackie Hill Perry is a wolf. She is a wolf. She always has been. Um, you know, I was surprised they put her in the American Gospel, and later on, Jackie Hill Perry recanted and said, "I will not be a part of that." Uh, she's a, she's involved with Bethel. She's involved with Hillsong. Um, she's she's involved with Joyce Meyer. Okay, this woman is trash. Theologically, she's trash. Uh, the things that she says is trash. And she needs to be called out. So, guys, I want to encourage you. Go visit our, our website, thirdadam.com. We have an article about this up here right now. You can go check that out, thirdadam.com, our new website. You guys do not want to miss that. we got a lot of good news updates. Check there daily. Just go ahead and bookmark that page and go visit this article. we got a lot of things we're going to be talking about on our YouTube channel that will be on this website, thirdadam.com, thirdadam.com, thirdadam.com. That'll be good. And then also, if you haven't got this book yet, go ahead and get it on Amazon. On. This is the Doctrine Matters Bible Topic Guidebook. We'll be ordering some of these, giving these away during our live streams. But this is a great new book, and uh, we've had a lot of success with this one so far. Just, just verses that are categorized by topic, and really, other than a sermon in the front of the book, there is nothing in here, no commentary. It's just what the Word of God says in black words on white pages. Get this book. You'll enjoy this book. God bless you all. We appreciate you very much, and you guys have a great day. God bless you.